This is probably an important topic about what I eat in a day, actually. What a treat. <laughs> That's why the British people love a pie. <sighs> Guys, I'm so hungry. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. I'm actually so excited for today's video. These videos always get so much love when I do them and I do not do them enough. Bear in mind how much you guys enjoy them when I do. I am bringing you a what I eat in a week living alone. And I say living alone, not because I try and tag living alone onto everything, but I think it's quite the skill to master if you're able to live alone and do a good budget food shop. And the key here, not waste any food or much food. Pretty much week on week, I would say I hardly waste any food. And I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how I meal plan, why I cook, different meal ideas, how I try and like have a little bit of a varied diet living alone, we all know. I do love to meal prep, which means I do eat some of the same meals throughout the week on certain days. But all in all, I'm not eating the same thing for lunch and dinner, which I feel like is quite impressive when living alone. One of my favorite ways to do that and make sure I'm also trying new meals is HelloFresh. I did get a HelloFresh box this week because I was in need of some inspo, especially coming into winter. Obviously, it's not been in winter for a little while. And I feel like week on week, I was kind of inspired for summer. You know, the, the clogs were ticking and I wanted a little bit of winter inspo and this is actually so funny because i have not had pie in honestly about four years and clearly i've been fancying pie the last few weeks because last week i was like Do you know what i'm gonna buy some pies i've not done that honestly i've not i can tell you the last time i had a pie falmouth interview for uni i went all the way down to falmouth uni and the only restaurant we could find that was open was a pie restaurant so me and my dad had a pie it's like i've not had a, a pie in yonks years last week i bought them from the shop and the week before when i picked my hella fresh meals I got a chicken and mushroom pie, so clearly my cravings are quite consistent, which is fun. So we have an ultimate chicken and mushroom pie, a honey harissa chicken tray bake, which I'm very excited for. The kind of like Greek inspired meals from HelloFresh, I think always win, like they're so good. And guys, I actually think I have a brand new HelloFresh favorite. So my old favorite was the, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's like the chicken and roasted veg, kind of like flatbread. Again, it's like like a Greek meal. These, honey, gu, oh, I'm not even gonna try and say that word. Gu, gu, no, I'm dyslexic. This, gu chang jury. <laughs> chicken tacos. I'm gonna put them on the screen. I made them for me and Molly last night. Oh my God, Molly was like, what, Molly? She was like, you should have set up the camera to film your ad. Every bite she took, she was like, wow, would never think of it. Would never think to put peanuts in my taco, but wow. She was like, I'm not a coleslaw person. I was like, neither, but trust me, please. Sambel coleslaw, again, ne would never think of it, but it's the best thing in the world. I actually don't like coleslaw, but this, when it's in a HelloFresh meal, I'm like, yes, please. If you've got this far and you're thinking, hello, what even is HelloFresh? You haven't even told us. HelloFresh is a meal subscription service. So it comes right to your door, which is just amazing. And you can pick how many meals you get and for how many people. So I'm actually gonna make the chicken tray bake only because it's a little bit quicker and it's actually quite late. It's actually 7 p.m. guys. I only got back from WeWork about 40 minutes ago. HelloFresh is a meal subscription service where like this, you'll get your plan and it says, Number 45, I go to my fridge. No worries, I can find you number 45. Ta-da. And it's so good for if you're living alone. Again, you don't wanna waste food, you wanna try new things because you get mini packets of like sauces and stuff so you can make different meals. And it's just so good if you're looking for inspiration, if you're feeling a bit uninspired, if you don't wanna sit and do your own meal plan. I just really love HelloFresh. I have a crazy discount code. I think it's something like 65% off your first box and then maybe 20 something there on out for the next like eight. Gonna leave a QR code and my code on the screen, leave exactly what the deal is on the screen. Definitely take advantage of it if you haven't tried HelloFresh before, because like I said, it's actually, it's actually so, like I actually love it. And now I'm just gonna follow the instructions on the back of here, cook the chips, get prepped, flavor the chicken, roasting time. Drizzle with honey at the end. I'm also kind of doing this one because it's minimal effort. And like right now I said, I've been working very hard today and up here, there's not a lot left. Woohoo! This is my tray bag. Doesn't she look really yummy? So these are my chips. I did my chips in the air fryer because I always forget how unreal chips are in the air fryer. So I did a couple of those. Woohoo! Yummy, yummy, yummy. Doesn't she look yum? Let's do a bit of the taste test of 
the honey harissa chicken paired with the feta, maybe a chip. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Mmm. I actually just love feta. Get myself a little drink. These are what I'm drinking at the moment. These are what are in the fridge. The hip hop CBD kombuchas. Love them, love CBD drinks. So, gonna get on the sofa. Drink this and then we're gonna catch you in a minute because I've actually got sent some very fun desserts for us to eat. Look at my Christmas tree. So, like I was saying, I did actually get sent some bakes, some, is the right word? Bakes, some baking goods from Piglet's Pantry. And I've got these blondie and brownie selections and one is chocolate orange brownie and one is, oh, it's a white chocolate and cranberry blondie. I actually am not really a chocolate orange fan, but I thought we could give it a go together on camera. Cheers. It's not that I'm not, but I'm not picking it up over just chocolate, you know? Mm, to be fair. I could never work out if I like chocolate orange or not. Chocolate orange to me is such a weird one because the taste feels like I'm smelling it, not tasting it. Like it feels like it's what I can smell. I'm not like, ugh, I'm like, oh, I can really smell that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I've actually already eaten a whole one of the blondie. And it took me that long to realize it was cranberry, but they are absolutely amazing. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good now, I'm so low. Watching reruns at the same shows. Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights I don't go Never been sure, no I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could Something we love around here, as you all know, is coffee but while we're on the topic of what I eat in a week, if you watch me, you will know this. I have strictly, I say strictly, I actually, the past few days, not past few days, but recently have actually had two coffees, which is absolutely absurd of me. But I'm normally strictly one coffee a day. The only reason I'll ever have two is if I've made one in the morning and then I have like plans last minute to go out with a friend and we grab a coffee. That is the only time. I'm never making two in the house. I'm never like getting one out by myself when I've had one in the morning. Like we just don't fuck around with that over here. We're one coffee a day and it has to be about three hours after we wake up. It's currently 11 minutes past nine. I've been to the gym, everything. So now I'm gonna have my coffee. My friends come home for Christmas and I love my mother. You know the drill. Although, do you know what I do want to try? The, of course it's called now, Oto. Like the fresh oat milk that gets delivered. I think I would really love that. But for now, this is me. I did eat my breakfast really early this morning at half six in the morning. I had my porridge. I woke up starving. I don't know why. And I was going to the gym, so I just had my porridge, which means I'll probably get hungry before lunch, which either means a snack or no, a snack. I don't love like an early lunch. Like I don't want to eat harissa chicken at like, 11 a.m. So in a couple of hours, I'm sure we'll probably have a snack. So I never ended up having a little snack because I did that annoying thing, you know, where you're like trying to finish something before you like get up and like move on with something else. I don't know if that's just me, toxic trait, if I'm like in the middle of something. I won't be like, I'll just get up now, get a snack and carry on with it. I'm like, no, finish this before you move. Like it'll be pitch black and I'll be like, you can't turn the lights on until you finish what you're doing. <laughs> Anyway, because of that, it is now appropriate lunchtime, but I am ravenous. So I'm gonna have that place that sent me a few things also sent me like a few little savory things. So I think I'm gonna eat this little quiche while I prep because I'm gonna have what I had um, last night, the harissa chicken, but I decided to make all of the chips like fresh as I go for the three portions because they're so crispy out of the air fryer. So I didn't wanna like save them. So everything else is prepped. I literally have to cut this and chop this in the air, chuck it in the air fryer, but it's gonna take a minute. So I'm gonna eat a little quiche. <laughs> I think it might be time for a beverage also with lunch. What are these again? I've not had one of these myself. Cherry and blackberry, hip hop, hip hop even. That is my chicken and my veg heated up. My chips are unreal, I've just had one. I also think 
I really do like that flavour actually. I also think I might end this lunch with a scone. I've got two scones in my little bakery delivery and I am actually such a hoe for a scone. Scone, scone, what do you say? Lunch is the same as yesterday, not that interesting. Gonna go eat it. We say not that interesting, but very good. This is a huge treat. When was the first time I had a scone? Scone, what do you say? I think I say scone, scone. No, I say scone. Oh, I switched between the two. Um, I had an afternoon tea, my first afternoon tea, not that long ago, this year. She's been heated up in the microwave slightly, just so she's spongy. Oh yeah, they're so good warm and spongy. Um, and then they also sent me some clotted cream. They did also send me some jam and I have got one more, but I'm gonna use my raspberry jam. What a treat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Different gravy. They might actually genuinely be one of my favorite things ever, which is such a rogue thing, I think, but they're just so good. I've been procrastinating this a lot because it has been pouring rain in for the last few hours, but I snuck out while it stopped. I just actually gave um, my reception a huge box of like all the cake that was left from the delivery I got. Because as stunning as it was, I live alone. And there was four big cake loaves, six cupcakes, and then I gave them half the brownies. So two rogue things from M&S because I always have to, recently I keep having to finish in there because Aldi didn't have everything. So this time Aldi did not have any also, but I don't think Aldi stacks also. Stacks? <laughs> stocks, stocks also full stop. So went in there to get some also. Also from there, I got some chai tea. Now, I seen chai tea the other day in a big Sainsbury's when me and my boyfriend were out and I was like, oh, I think I would love some chai tea for the winter, like in the morning. And then I just decided no, because it was like two pound. <laughs> I think it was actually like two pound 60 or something. And I was like, Ugh, I don't know. But I haven't been able to stop think thinking about it since. I mean, it was only last week, but I just kind of wanted it. So let's smell it together. Yeah, that's pretty gorge. So the meal we're gonna, no, let me show you my snacks first and then I'll show you. I am obsessed with kids yogurts. I got this pack a few weeks ago. Enjoyed every single last bite. Double delight, strawberry and vanilla flavor. What is the difference between a fromage frisse and a yogurt? Um, and I nearly picked up the adult ones, but I was like, I don't want them. So I have these, these are very nice. And then I picked up this pack. <laughs> very, it's giving Aldi's own, very like Aldi's essentials as the zone, you know? But it's strawberry, apricot, raspberry. I just think they're a fun little snack. You know when I said like, oh, so, like I'll probably get hungry at 11, I'll probably want a snack. I've been having a yogurt before my lunch. I also got two milks just because my shopping was like way lighter than normal. Cause like I said, I've literally got food for one meal. So I thought let me pick up two while I'm here because sometimes I don't even end up picking up one just because it's always heavy. Same with raspberries. I got two because I didn't have much else to carry. I keep going to like finish it off with the meal and then I'm like, oh, I have more snacks, grapes and easy peelers. Okay, and then the meal we're gonna make. So parts of these videos I think are interesting is like, how do you come up with what it is that you wanna eat? But I was, where was I the other day? And I was like, oh, tomato soup. I think maybe I was just like, me and my, I made me and my boyfriend like a batch soup for the week when he was here. And it was so good. And I keep seeing people have like tomato soup. Oh, I think I watched Jed's TikTok where he made Imogen tomato soup. And I was like, mm, I'm craving making a tomato soup. And I've never actually made one before, which is weird because I love soup. I think it's because it doesn't have any like protein or like veg in it that I don't tend to like make it because I don't really know what to eat it with. So what I'm gonna make is, still doesn't really have any veg, so we're gonna sort that out. Maybe I can have it with like a side of broccoli, I don't know. I have got some leafy greens that are like probably just about to go off that I should probably use. But what, what we're gonna make is like a creamy tomato chicken orzo soup. So not it's not gonna be a pasta, it's gonna be a soup. There's gonna be a lot of liquid, like a very creamy, not creamy, a very like saucy pasta soup. What I then do, I was like, okay, I'm fancying tomato soup like that. I kind of wanted it to have chicken in it. I kind of wanted it to have protein in it. Like I wanted to have it as a, as a proper lunch. So then I Googled like tomato chicken soup and I was just gonna shred chicken and put it in a tomato soup and try and like guess a recipe off the top of my head. But sometimes I do that to get inspo of like what vegetables might work and whatnot. So then I seen, none of the chicken soups were called by name, and then I seen a chicken orzo soup, and I thought, oh, I've not had an orzo in ages, I'm obsessed with orzo. One of my favorite meals is like Bella Hadid, or is it Gigi Hadid, pasta. It's Gigi, isn't it? Gigi Hadid pasta, but with orzo. 
So it's a similar vibe, but like that creamy tomato-y orzo. So we're essentially gonna do that. So I got some chicken breast, I got some ricotta, because we're gonna do ricotta instead of cream. I got some passata. Recipe did say just like tomato paste, but I kind of want it to be quite like richy. So I got passata and then I did get some fresh basil. I got some parmesan to top and I got some nice tomatoes um, that I'm gonna like air fry and put them in at the end. It's like roasted tomatoes. So that's what I got, not a lot, although it did cost me 20 pound, I think. So not bad. And there is gonna be quite a lot of this soup. And although I'm in London, I'm only in London for a night. Like I'll be back within Manchester of like 24 hours of leaving. So it will still be good to eat by Friday if I make it tonight. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Friday is probably the last day I could eat it. So I'm excited to make that later. I actually text my boyfriend straight after trying this for the first time. I was like, I think I have just made the best thing I've ever made. So did it turn out like a soup? No, did it turn out absolutely delicious still? Absolutely. So I actually air fried my chicken breast just with like some mixed herbs, some salt, some pepper. And then I fried off my tomatoes. I think realistically, I wish I kind of took them out at this stage and then put them back in instead of boiling them with the rest. But I put some passata in, I put some stock in, cooked my orzo in that. And then I was like, okay, this is a bit liquidy. Oh no. But by the time it had all cooked and I'd put in the ricotta and the chicken, it definitely ended up more like a very saucy pasta over a soup. But not complaining, this was insane. Sadly, my camera died, but I topped it really cutely with some parmesan and some basil and it was so cute and it was unreal. Such like a warming winter delicious dish. And then I had it the next day when I reheated it, I put a little bit of water in it just to make it a bit more saucy, come alive again. And then of course, had some oranges, some easy peelers with it. <laughs> so as you've seen, I had my meal prep for lunch. I actually had two oranges and now I'm just having a, these are the Aldi dupes um, of the Fulfill protein bars. They're so good, Fulfill is my favorite. Um, well, one of my favorite protein bars. It's my favorite protein bar if like I'm gonna get, go in the shop and get a protein bar. Does it also love some of my protein ones? Anyway, I'm eating this because I'm actually off on an evening run in with a group for homelessness in Manchester. It's like a constant 24 hour run, which is really, really cool. But I'm gonna eat dinner when I come back. So I'm just having this, it's 5 p.m. Harissa chicken heating up, new chips on the go and co-op had sun-dried tomatoes in clearance for 50p with some feta. Mwah. This is the last of that HelloFresh meal prep. And I'm so excited to sit down and eat it. Good morning. We have a little bit of catching up to do food wise. So yesterday I had my Harissa chicken and then I had a chai tea. I think this is the type of tea you have to let brew. Kind of wasn't giving chai and two shortbreads. And then I wasn't fulfilled with my hot drink of choice, like two shortbread little biscuits. I love shortbread. Um, I seen it the other day and I was like, no, I actually love shortbread. Like I should buy shortbread more. So I had two shortbread biscuits and then I wasn't satisfied by my hot drink, which is funny because I'm not a hot drink person, but clearly I got in the mood for one and then wasn't satisfied. So I had an options, salted caramel, hot chocolate. And they are just unreal. Excuse the hair. This isn't like, I'm not going for a cute Rachel Green look. It's just marinating in dry shampoo. So I'm just trying like not to touch it. So I should probably do this, but then that's just not as cute, is it? Anyway, it is 8.36. I have, I was at the gym bright and early today, guys. I was at the gym at 6.45. Just making a coffee. I was at the gym at 6.45. or got home at 7.50. I've just showered and makeup and whatnot because we're actually going to london today so it'll be fun to bring you there and show you oh and then also to catch up i had the smallest bowl of fake aldi shreddies you've ever seen this morning because there's been about six left in that box for the longest of time and i didn't really have anything else to eat before the gym and i was not hungry for porridge forward slash just wanted to get out of the gym quickly out to the gym quickly need a little bit more oat milk now I'm gonna make my porridge and I'm also gonna make the pie filling because this HelloFresh box got delivered on a Sunday. So I need to use the chicken. It's currently Thursday. So I'm gonna make the filling and I also think that'll be such a treat because then tomorrow when I get back, I don't have to do anything. I can just like put it in the pie, put it in the pastry 
and then we're good to go. Bob's your uncle. This is probably an important topic about what I eat in a day, actually. I can't believe it's taken us till Thursday for me to tell you this. I have spoke about this before. I'm a huge fan of Vital Vitamins. I have worked with them in the past, like a good few years ago now, but um, this is not an ad. I do have a like normal person referral link though. So I think it gets you 50% off your first month. So if you do want to try it, I'll leave the link down below, or I'm pretty sure you can put in Megan at the refer a friend bit at checkout and it might give you it. But if not, I'll leave a link down below. Um, essentially Vital is a vitamin subscription where you answer a quiz about like, if you're vegetarian, how much fruit you eat, how much veg you eat, how much you exercise, what your goals are, how, if you're tired, if you're, like loads of different things. And it sends you a pack of vitamins for the month. And then you do like, I think maybe three monthly, kind of just check-ins or maybe it's six monthly check-ins just to kind of like make sure they're working for you make sure your goals haven't changed etc etc so these are mine and then i also take an iron tablet because my hair has been falling out loads and loads of you said to have iron and i've i've been told to take iron before by the doctors and also one of you messaged me he's like a sports nutritionist and said if you're like finding running a bit hard all of a sudden like my longer runs when i was training for the half marathon they were like you probably need some more iron because you're like working out five six times a week you could probably do it with some more iron regardless so i take an iron now as well my coffee is just not cold enough about to take both of these off the heat this is literally done and this is very nearly done i'm gonna like just leave her to Kind of like sit on the hob, but while the hob's off, while I eat this, just to like thicken up. But I'm very glad I've done this. <laughs> another day, another gorgeous bowl of porridge, a coffee, and pie filling. <laughs> this is why meal prep is so fabulous in so many ways. Time just got ahead of me, and all of a sudden I need to leave like pretty soon. I have just been putting a bit of water in this before I reheat, just because creamy dishes tend to get like ironic. A bit like dry and a bit like stuck together. So literally just mix in a tiny bit of water from the tab. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more actually. Um, but this reheated really well. I think, okay, that was maybe a bit much, but there isn't that, it's fine. When I do my creamy orzo, it really doesn't re reheat that well. But this, I think because I did do the little bit of water and because it was like, the orzo was like cooked, like brang to a boil in the passata and water. And probably just because there was so much like liquid and sauce in the recipe, it reheats really well. Whereas my normal creamy also is like tomato paste, ricotta, um, cream. So that doesn't have like a lot to play with. Whereas this reheats like gorgeously, like it was so yum. Anyway, as I did, I'm gonna top with Parmesan and I'm gonna put some of the sun dried tomatoes I got yesterday on it. These were in clearance, right? But they say 15th of December. But yesterday was the 15th of November. So either someone didn't know what they were doing or they were all printed wrong and that actually November. Either way. I mean, it definitely didn't end up like a soup, but listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, nice and saucy. Anyway, this is lunch. gotta have oh my god i thought i picked up chocolate orange then i was like is chocolate orange ripple even a thing oh i think it's because it's orange peel in my bag always gotta have something sweet i've not had a ripple mm, in yonks i am galaxy over cadbury any day of the week i'm about to give up one it would be cadbury although i do think cadbury has the best variations dime oreo incredible but the actual chocolate of a galaxy I don't need any variations. I need to get ready for this event. And it's probably gonna be canapes and drinks and little snacks. So if I have anything, I'll let you know. Just back from London. 
and I'm gonna actually make some porridge because it is lunchtime. It is actually, it's actually 1 p.m. Bearing in mind my train was at 10, like <sighs> London is far, but luckily I did not feel sick on that train. So I actually managed to get a lot of work done. Anyway, this isn't a vlog. I'm gonna make some porridge because it's lunch, but I don't have any food because I purposely just went to Aldi and bought that like enough food to meal prep that one meal because I knew I'd be away and I don't really want to eat pie for lunch. So I'm gonna make some porridge. We're gonna make the pie tonight, which I'll show you. And then I'm thinking we can close off this video tomorrow morning when I go and do a food shop for like the next week almost. Um, and I feel like that'll be a good way to close this off. <laughs> Absolutely. The days you can have porridge for lunch are good days. <sighs> Guys, I'm so hungry. I'm fucking starving. Um, food is cooking, but I have got another like 15 minutes. But like when I say, I'm ravenous. Like my stomach is making so many noises, like it hurts. Um, I'm making a pie. I've decided to do, attempt to do a single portion of the pie. I don't think I've told you this yet. Oh, I'm too hungry, wait a minute. This is why we love yogurts. <laughs> I went and got myself, I was like, I want a fun drink. And then I was like, I kind of want to recreate the mocktail I had last night. I had like a tiny bit of buffalo chicken yesterday as a canapé and a tiny little like lemon meringue thing. So that was fun. And I had, I think I had one glass of rosé and a mocktail. And the mocktail was like ginger beer, like ras, like strawberry and lime or something. And I love Moscow mules, ginger beer and lime. So I got myself some ginger beer and I got, I wanted raspberry squash, but the best I could do was lemon and raspberry. And now I wanted to do lime, but I don't think I can quite, I know lemon and lime is a thing, but then I feel like there's a lot of flavors. So we're going to try this ginger beer and this squash. Don't know if that was too much. I might even put some frozen raspberries in here. Cheers. Taste test. Mm. I do love ginger beer though. I forget how much I love ginger beer actually. Doesn't feel like a very me thing to like. Wow, that's really good. I'm excited to have this over the next few days. Ginger beer in the fridge. Oh, you know, one of those moments where you just want to sit down and eat. I'm not being funny. You're lucky you're even getting a look at it, but doesn't it look good to be fair? Let's taste test this pie together. I feel like it's the least you deserve right now. I'm not, wow, the, the puff pastry is puffing. Mmm, hot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow, yum. Mmm, that's really good. Mmm. Wow, so that's why the British people love a pie. Caramel wafers, my favorite thing ever. I just went and did my Aldi shop for the next week. Spent 28 pound. Would you like to see what I got? So this is obviously now it's Saturday. So literally for until like Wednesday-ish probably. I find that living alone, I tend to do food shops every five days-ish. Like I can't do them weekly just because I can't buy food now to last till like next Saturday. So the meal plans are, I went to the Asian supermarket um, a few weeks ago now and bought miso paste. I can never find miso paste in any supermarkets. I know Sainsbury's do one. I say any supermarkets. I have an Aldi and that's what I go to. But regardless, I've ne I never really see it anywhere. So when I see it in the Asian supermarket, best believe, also Sainsbury's one is like this big. I could make like three meals out of it but this is gonna last a while so now that i've got it i'm very excited to use it i also got this um ketchup manis i don't know how you actually say it catch catch jab catch up it's not ketchup but uh anyway because that's in loads of hello fresh meals and i can never find it found it in the asian supermarket anyway so we're gonna make like a miso noodle soup i've already got noodles so i got kale for it i really want a manger too but Aldi didn't have it. I went into M&S afterwards and they did, but I was like, you know what? I don't need it. It's like two pound. I already picked up other veg to do anyway. I got some onion and I got a pepper for it. And I'm gonna do it with some mushrooms. So like mushroom, kale, chili, miso soup and pepper. I did also pick up, um, got some fresh chilies for it actually. I did pick up some baby corn and then I picked up the mushrooms and was like, I'm not sure where they really go. So I'm not gonna do that. I got some pink salt because mine's like nearly gonna run out and I seen it and just thought it's gonna be one of those things where I don't buy it and then in a few weeks it's gonna run out and I'm gonna be annoyed that I didn't pick it up. So as well as the miso soup, I just had to pick up two lunches because I already got pie for the next like 
two days. So I got some chicken, cooked chicken breast. I don't know why, whenever I make chicken to try and put it in a sandwich, it's just not the same. It feels like weird and different, which is probably really stupid, but this is also like a similar-ish price to like two, two chicken breasts. So I got the hot and spicy one. I love the peri-peri one, it's a bit expensive. Um, and I also just didn't have any, so I got this along with some sourdough, half a loaf of seeded sourdough and some cucumber. And then I got some lettuce because the other lunch I'm gonna make is like a fajita salad because I haven't done that in so long, like fajita shredded chicken, avocado, onion, pepper, maybe some mango, but I just got it to eat if not. And then I'm trying to just eat a lot more fruit. So apples and oranges. As you've seen, I've been loving the oranges this week. I then actually got some tomatoes and 12 eggs. I never check my eggs and my boyfriend always shouts at me. He doesn't shout. Because I'm gonna start maybe having eggs for breakfast. I don't know. When I wake up at the moment, kind of fancying something savory, dare I say, something different. Um, and I know that's supposed to be really good for you. So I don't know, we're gonna try it. I'm, being, I'm fancying it at the moment, so we'll just give it a go. And then I got some rice cakes because I've still got lots of like chocolate bars and sweet snacks. I've got my mug cakes. I've got lots of protein bars from my protein this week. The crispy layered ones, these are amazing. And then I've also got crispy wafers and I've still got a few boxes left at the Aldi dupes. I've also got protein mug cake and stuff for dessert. They had no protein mousses. They haven't for a few weeks now, which is annoying. I've still got my grapes. I've got my pie. I've got my yogurts. I've got loads of stuff. So yeah, that is my little shop. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful or just enjoyable or interesting. Really just trying to work on like fueling myself with good food, fruit and veg, lots of color. I always just look at my plate and I'm like, does it need more color? Oh, when I'm thinking about my miso soup, I'm like, let's just get loads of goodness in there. It's the winter. I don't know about you, but I've always got a really bad immune system and just seem to get ill all the time. So I'm really just trying to like fuel myself with good food while still obviously like enjoying it. I'm gonna also do a like week of workout soon. Like what I eat and train in a week to like, feel my best kind of vibe. So I'm excited if you guys see that as well. I want to thank Hello Fresh again for sponsoring the video. And remember the insane discount you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight. I'm pretty sure it is. Everything will be on screen, but you've seen Hello Fresh has fueled my week. They are amazing. And I literally go out and buy things for the recipes so I can like make them again because they're just so good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Of course, I will see you on my other socials before then. Bye guys, have a good week.